Excel Energy Inc. is a utility holding company based in Minneapolis, Minnesota, serving more than 3.3 million electric customers and 1.8 million natural gas customers in Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, Colorado, Texas and New Mexico in 2017. It consists of four operating subsidiaries, Northern States Power Minnesota, Northern States Power Wisconsin, Public Service Company of Colorado, and Southwestern Public Service Co. In December 2018 Excel announced it would deliver 100% clean, carbon-free electricity by 2050, with an 80% carbon reduction by 2035 from 2005 levels. This makes Excel the first major U.S. utility to set such a goal. Topic History Excel Energy was built on three companies, Minneapolis-based Northern States Power Company NSP, Denver-based Public Service Company of Colorado PSCO, and Amarillo-based Southwestern Public Service SPS. Southwestern Public Service Co. SPS dates its origins to 1904 and the Picos Valley in New Mexico when Maynard Gunsell received an electricity franchise for the city of Roswell, New Mexico and its 2,000 residents. The financial strain of creating this new enterprise soon overwhelmed him and he sold the franchise to W. H. Gillenwater, who named his utility the Roswell Electric Light Co. He later sold the company to an investment firm in Cleveland, Ohio, which already owned the Roswell Gas Co. Northern States Power Company's timeline begins with the organization of the Washington County Light and Power Co. in 1909. When H. M. Billisby began building his utility holding company across the northwestern region of the U.S., he renamed it the Consumers Power Co. in 1910 and which was renamed the Northern States Power Co. in 1916. While the bulk of NSP's territory grew across central and southern Minnesota starting from the Twin Cities, it acquired territory in North Dakota centering on Fargo, Grand Forks, and Minot and extended southwest into South Dakota centering on Sioux Falls. NSP's system also extended east into Wisconsin, but because of utility ownership laws in that state, it was operated as an entity separate from the rest of the company. Public Service Company of Colorado PSCO was formed in 1923 to provide an electric generating station for the Denver area. By 1924, it had acquired most of the electric companies in northern and central Colorado. Originally a subsidiary of Cities Service Company, it became an independent autonomous operation in November 1943. By this time, it served 80% of Colorado's gas and electricity needs. As demand for energy continued to grow, so did PSCO. Eventually, the company merged with SPS to form New Century Energies in 1995. Northern States Power and Wisconsin Energy Corporation had planned to merge into a new outfit that was to be called Primergy, but in 1997, the merger fell through because of the time it was taking to gain the required approvals from state and federal agencies. After the failed Primergy merger, NSP both the Minnesota and Wisconsin companies merged with New Century Energies to form Excel Energy. In 2005, Excel sold Cheyenne Light, Fuel and Power to Black Hills Corporation. Cheyenne Light, Fuel and Power had been a subsidiary of PSCO since the 1920s, and had become an operating company of NCE after the merger with SPS. The Cabin Creek Fire occurred on October 2, 2007 at Excel Energy's hydropower generation plant in Georgetown, Colorado. On June 1, 2011, federal prosecutors opened their charges that Excel Energy was criminally liable for the deaths of the five RPI workers. On June 28, the jury found Excel Energy not guilty. On December 19, 2011, RPI Coating pleaded guilty to workplace safety violations and paid $1.55 million in a cash settlement. 
The company took responsibility for the deaths of five workers and the injuries to three. In 2018, utility industry magazine Utility Dive awarded Excel Energy its Utility of the Year award for its plans for Add 12 Wind Farms, its project with Google to develop new ways for customers to personalize energy management, and its plan to retire 50% of its coal powered capacity by 2026 and replacing it with a combination of renewable renewable energy, efficiency, and natural gas. <inaudible> Generation portfolio Excel Energy currently has 13 coal plants with a capacity of 7,697 MW. Seven of those plants are operated in Colorado. Excel Energy owns and operates three wind farms. In October 2011, Excel Energy set a world record for electricity from wind power, with an hourly penetration of 55.6% of production from wind. Excel Energy generates over 500 megawatts of hydroelectric power from 27 plants in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Colorado. This accounts for only 4% of their electricity generation. They also purchase large amounts of hydro-generated electricity from Manitoba Hydro. Biomass electricity comes from organic fuel sources. Excel Energy has contracts for about 110 MW of electricity from biomass generators. Two in northern Minnesota are fueled by forest harvest residue, such as treetops and limbs. A third facility, brought online in 2007 in western Minnesota, generates power using turkey litter. Excel Energy's Bayfront plant in Ashland, Wisconsin, is a three unit generating station that has become a model for the creative use of fuels coal, waste wood, railroad ties, discarded tires, natural gas, and petroleum coke. Two of the three bay front operating units already use biomass as their primary fuel. Excel Energy recently proposed a plan to install biomass gasification technology at bay front. The waste to energy facilities use waste that would otherwise end up in landfills. The Wisconsin Waste to Energy plant burns wood waste in combination with refuse derived fuel (RDF). Excel Energy owns and operates two nuclear power plants Monticello Nuclear Generating Plant near Monticello, Minnesota Prairie Island Nuclear Generating Plant near Red Wing, Minnesota and stores the spent fuel from these nuclear plants on site in independent spent fuel storage installations, ISFSIs. System information and transmission Excel Energy operates the fourth largest transmission system in the United States, spanning 10 states. In 2011, Excel Energy's transmission system was worth $3.3 billion. The transmission system is operated on a non discriminatory basis under the open access requirements of the federal government. This means that all wholesale buyers and sellers of electricity can use the transmission system under the same terms and conditions used to serve Excel Energy's own retail customers. The transmission lines are utilized to carry 115,000 volts, 230,000 volts, and 345,000 volts. There is also a 500,000 volt transmission line that runs from the Dorsey substation outside of Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada to the Chicago substation located in Chicago County just north of St. Paul, Minnesota. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Grid security. In 2017, Excel Energy partnered with the Financial Services Information Sharing and Analysis Center to create a new, "...threat information sharing community", intended to share cyber and physical security intelligence with the energy sector. 
The new community is called the Energy Analytic Security Exchange it is run by the FSISAC Sector Services Team. FSISAC is an organization that gathers cyber and physical risk intelligence for the financial services industry. Additionally, the North American Electric Reliability Council (NERC) manages the Electricity Information Sharing and Analysis Center, which is another resource that the energy sector uses to gather threat intelligence. Advanced Grid in Colorado In 2016, Excel Energy announced the Advanced Grid Intelligence and Security initiative, a long-term effort related to power reliability, distributed generation, and information sharing with customers. Through the initiative, Excel would build an «intelligent grid» in Colorado in order to improve grid security. The company filed a request for permission with the Colorado Public Utilities Commission for the program, which would cost $500 million. Programs <laughs> 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 Since 1998, Excel Energy's WindSource program has allowed customers to designate that part or all of their electricity comes from a renewable energy source. In 2015, about 96,000 people were enrolled in WindSource. In 2011, more than 2.3 million electric and 261,800 natural gas customers took part in Excel Energy's energy efficiency programs for homes and businesses. Excel Energy also offers customers incentives to install solar panels. At the end of 2011, more than 10,600 photovoltaic systems had been installed, with a capacity of about 121 MW DC. In early 2011, Excel Energy suspended the solar rebate program before reaching a settlement a month later with representatives of solar power companies to restore the solar incentive program until it is fully reviewed by the Public Utilities Commission. Topic: Controversies. On August 1, 2002, Excel Energy Inc. was sued because of engaging in round trip energy trades that provided no economic benefit for the company, and because the company lacked the necessary internal controls to adequately monitor the trading of its power. Excel paid $80 million in a settlement. In early October 2007, a flash fire within a penstock at Excel Energy's hydroelectric plant at Cabin Creek occurred, which resulted in the death of five contract workers. The U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board conducted an investigation of the incident. Its report can be found on the CSB website. It is considered one of the worst unmitigated incidents to occur in a permit required confined space. Topic: See also. Plant X, Lamb County, Texas.